let's move over to another one of the panels, this time the effects panel. Uh, perhaps uh, the most used effect, or the, well, certainly one that I see being used most often, is the vignette slider. So I bypassed some of the other sliders above vignette. Uh, let's go into the, the effect that is used most often. Uh, I've often thought that half of all photographers will vignette at least half of their images. Now I'm just uh, having a wild guess, but I do see a lot of photographers putting a subtle vignette on their image. A vignette is a way of darkening the core corners of the image and what this has an effect is drawing people into your subject which is typically more towards the center. It stops the eyes drifting up towards the corners of the image especially if those corners are a little bit bright. So it does have a very powerful um, effect on the way people view our images. Some people get a fall so much in love with a the vignette they do apply too much. And um, certainly uh, I do notice this on social media forums is the vignette is uh, very obvious. Now if you're looking at your images in the grid view in the small thumbnails you'll see uh, the vignettes are very obvious on smaller scale images. So if you're looking at your grid view and you go oh look I can see my vignette then there's a very good chance that I can actually see it on your much higher resolution image. So go over to your vignette slider back away from the minus 60, come back closer to the minus 20 and I'll be less aware of that vignette. It still will have that effect that you're looking for, it'll just be less obvious. Another one of the uh, most popular sliders in this effects panel is clarity. Now some subjects will take a lot of clarity before looking over processed. Here is a before and after of a cathedral shot. Um, it's, I think it's Worcester Cathedral in the UK and I've ramped it up to plus 100 and I can sort of get away with it. The processed uh, version is on the right side there. If you do this with a portrait however, especially uh, a young, uh, say attractive woman, uh, this plus uh, 100 clarity is going to make that skin complexion look uh, seriously unpleasant. And so you have to go very carefully with some Im images with clarity. Generally I'm in the plus 15, plus 20, very rarely do I go much higher. So I've overcooked it in this instance just to show you the effect. Uh, another way is uh, people used to use negative clarity to maybe be more uh, flattering to a model's skin texture, but it did give an unnatural appearance to skin. It looked post-processed. Uh, Lightroom has since come out with a much better slider for doing this, and it's called the texture slider. If you just drag the texture slider to the left rather than the clarity slider, you will get these much smoother skin complexions. What you may notice however is it's it's a global edit it is not only doing it to the skin it is also attacking some of the other smooth surfaces such as the wall sitting behind this young woman in Kathmandu so it's almost like um, the uh, the wall is getting a skin makeover as well as the skin now I will uh, revisit this image uh, just shortly to show how we can avoid this so what we should notice however with this uh, texture slider it is protecting the sharp detail within the image the eyelashes the eyebrows, the jewellery, etc. If we're trying to add, uh, add a lot of drama to an image, uh, one that, uh, where the drama has been stolen away because we're either shooting underwater or we're shooting with a massive telephoto lens when there's a lot of ultraviolet light or we're shooting out of an aircraft window, the, um, the, everything is very, very flat and you can look at the histogram. Uh, there is very little shadow information or indeed highlight information. The in, uh, the histogram is sort of just sitting in the mid-tones and so um, uh, one of the best sliders when we're faced with an editing problem such as this we could go and edit 10 sliders but if you're not too sure which 10 sliders would correct this image if you're just wanting to do it very quickly my um, favorite slider for editing this very very quickly is the D Hay slider. Just grab that and drag it to the right and you're going to put a lot of drama. That histogram is going to reach out and touch the left and right sides. The contrast is going to be raised. The saturation will come back into the image. Now generally you'll be lucky if 
you get away with just raising the DH slider, you might have to go to um, the light panel and just fine tune the whites and blacks. And you might have to go and revisit the saturation and white balance as well to get the, uh, the perfect looking image. This is um, just uh, looking through an aircraft window, window coming into uh, just as we're descending and in, flying into Seattle in the USA, looking at those volcanoes through the aircraft window there. Another slider, which I don't tend to use a lot, possibly because I spent um, 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 probably a decade and a half, maybe even two decades, shooting on analog film. So I got a little bit bored with film grain, to be honest. But if you're having um, a nostalgic um, uh, moment in your folio editing and you want to put um, or emulate or simulate film grain in your images, especially maybe with some of your black and white photographs, we do have uh, a grain slider there. And we can also control the shape and size of that grain with the size and roughness sliders there. So we can make it look like it was shot with a 100 ISO film or a 400 ISO film. And so we can get that analog look without shooting um, uh, film. Be sure to check out all of the movies in this Lightroom CC Masterclass series. There's also a supporting ebook that you can download from my website. Just head over to www.markgaylor.com and then look for that downloads link. If you find any of my resources useful, just consider making a small donation. This will help me create future learning resources. I also host a Patreon site. This is going to allow you to join Q&A forums where you'll have your individual questions answered and also attend seminars. I'll also give a photo critique service. Okay, so uh, thumbs up if you've enjoyed the movie and I'll catch you online next time.